Okay, so Mr. Samuel, um, after Lee Kuan Yew's death, what is next? What do you think is next for the PAP? Well, we must admit that, uh, or we must recognize the fact that LKY, or Lee, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, uh, was a larger than life figure. Though he ruled a very, very small country, it's known as a little red dot on the map, he was a colossus that strode the globe. He was well known and respected in countries near and far and in lands much much bigger than much much greater in strength in, in, in than Singapore. He's also known for his tenacity and his um, will and his um, tough measures that sought Singapore from a small trading post, colonial outpost to what it is today. So in a sense, LKY is one of the founding fathers, if not the founding father of Singapore. And he has a larger than life figure. He is a larger than life figure. And his imprint and his, uh, his philosophies and dictates have laid the foundation for Singapore, the modern Singapore. So in a sense, his legacy will live on even after his death. But is Singapore in danger of collapse? Was Singapore solely reliant on Mr. L. Lee Kuan Yew? Uh, is, a, is our future bleak because we have lost a, a, a leader? My, uh, my feeling is no. The reason for this is because Mr. Lee himself had recognized this and set in place a new leadership. We are now experiencing or having the third generation of leaders who have all been capably chose, chosen and trained. And we have a legacy and the framework that was set by the old guard. Certain values that have become inherent in the way we run things and guidelines for our future. So I think Singapore will continue. It will be different after Mr. Lee Kuan Yew's death. We will all feel a sense of loss. But I think Singapore will continue and continue to thrive because of his legacy. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Samuel, for your time. Thank you.